Ha! Hello to another Wednesday live stream here at Calypso Live. And suddenly, oh, I can hear me in a lot of ways. So now it's better. Uh, <laughs> always my beginning is different as uh, planned. And as you can see here, I have a special guest today, a dedicated guest i would say it's liam liam how how are you <laughs> hello i'm fine i'm uh, happy that i can be here that sounds um that sounds good yes yeah. and uh, a lot of people had um amazing fun here um a lot of your mates um mm -hmm. and so we're coming to to the part you are fulfilling here at calypso media yeah. what is your profession here yes uh, i am currently an intern at Calypso Media, and I am mostly deployed in QA and support tasks, uh, which means I will go and uh, reply to user tickets and try to resolve issues sent to us, and I will also do QA for our titles, and I will try to find um, issues and report them and uh, verify if they have been fixed, and, um, what, and I will test uh, new content and the like. Amazing. That's a lot of stuff for an internship. Yes, it is. <laughs> but it's much better than... Uh, and by the way, Snowfart, hi, how are you? Um, and by the way, yes, it's much better than uh, cooking coffee or doing the, the, the printing stuff or copying stuff. Well, yes, um, I assume that would be the case. <laughs> <laughs> yes, really? Yes. Okay. No. Now, um, no, no, no. Well, I, I, I do like minor minor things as well, but I, that's not like an official task. I, I will, I will obviously do like t kitchen duty, but that's something everybody does. And yes, I sure. will also like if there's like water, empty, I will just like take water from the kitchen. But that's just like politeness, most likely. Yes, yes. Like, nobody tells me to cook uh, some coffee for them or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really good. So if you are int uh, interested in uh, doing an internship here at Calypso Media, it's a place where you can definitely learn something and do something, being a part of that, yeah. I guess. Yes, and I know all your colleagues and they're yeah. pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice people. Yes. Constantine was here, uh, oh. Vlad was here, and... Uh, Felix as well. Yes, Felix was also here from our support, mm -hmm. um, and they, well, I had a lot of um, a, a great time uh, with yeah. these guys. Yeah. Uh, the next reason, because I invited you here, but it was not a true invitation, because you came here and said, oh, uh, "I want to stream with you." <laughs> that was really surprising. Um, <clears throat> the good thing is, you are. A Warhammer 40k player, tabletop player. Yes, yes I am. Maybe f fan sounds a little bit too too nerdy. A I Warhammer think. enjoyer. Enjoy, yes, that's really good. <laughs> a Warhammer uh, enjoyer, and um, you have brought something. So no, no. <laughs> so far, Patrick only had great guests, so no pressure, Liam. <laughs> That's that's assuring. Thank you. <laughs> um, yes, you brought something uh, yes, with you. I have, but uh, maybe it's a little tiny. So yeah. maybe I will switch behind the camera. But let's let's try to, oh, to show. What we, you we can try. Like, yeah, we can, we can try it. So maybe yes. is that sharp? Or oh, that's that's okay. It's that's a little okay. bit blurry. Yeah. Um, yeah. As as a fan of of the Not hobby. Me. Hey, nice to see you. Yeah. As, as a hobbyist myself, I have brought a few minis. I will start with this Tech Marine. I, I unfortunately, yeah, gonna, gonna yeah, gonna I unfortunately do not oh, collect. Okay. So maybe uh, I have to, to go uh, behind yeah, the camera just a second, yeah, sure. and then we will we will show that yeah. stuff in a much sharper way. So hold it up, please. Yes, I will. Um, I mean, so yes, Here. right. Can that, you right see that? that? It's absolutely. Like so. Yes. Nice. This is nice and sharp. Yeah. Okay, what is this guy? Yes, uh, what you see here is a Tech Marine. Those are affiliated with the Mechanicus, uh, who will be who we will be uh, looking at later in the game. And this is a Space Marine that has been trained by the Mechanicus to perform uh, duties uh, similar to them uh, amongst other Space Marines. Awesome. Yeah. 
Okay, something different? You have other yes. stuff here? Yes, I have brought an assortment of, of, of things. Um, Maybe the green one. The yes. green one, I'm looking forward. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's getting a uh, key. Uh, yeah. No, no, it's it's a very yeah. good green. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is... Oh, this, oh, no? is, this is messing with the green screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. No. No, this is uh, one of my Dark Angels, uh, one of my major armies, and those are the Space Marines that are helped by the Mechanicus, uh, in regards of their gear and their equipment. Cool. Yes. Cool. Uh, Next one. Next uh, one. It's really hard to turn them because you have to think like. Yeah, I know. The wrong what way you, yeah, I know what you mean. Yes. Uh, the next one would be one of the enemies of uh, the previous ones. That just this is a traitor space marine, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and those have fallen to the dark powers of chaos, which we do not uh, uh, encounter in the game. Like in the in the video game, okay. No, but yeah. Now it it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. Like, can can you see the markings here? Yeah. Like I I have done some some very fine markings on him, but you can't really make them out. Well, yeah, maybe I can. No, yeah. I cannot get it. No, I not get closer. Yeah. It's only. Oh, no, the, the, taps this out is, at this is the wrong guy. Like, this is the guy with the markings, with the shoulder markings. Wait a second, I will yeah. sharpen it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. This is how the, the miniatures look like. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Uh, this is a regular human in the service of the Dark Powers, also in very nice green screen green. <laughs> uh, this is a cultist. That has pledged himself to the Brunus powers and will aid the traitor Spain's Marines. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the last one, the last two are another space, more space Marines, but like more my, my costume color scheme. And a better color for green screen. Yes, a very green screen friendly color. <laughs> and this is how. Glad we doesn't have a, a blue screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it? Yes, those are all I have brought. Uh, I did not bring my entire army. <laughs> that would uh, have been too heavy. <laughs> How many... Um, okay. I will readjust the camera. How many figures do you have? Do you know that? Oh, in, in numbers. Figurines. Figurines? Oh, oh. yes. Um, I would assume approximately 200-ish. 200? <laughs> Uh, oh, that uh, sounds like an expensive hobby. It is, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm back, crawling, crawling back here. Okay. Um, you painted all these uh, figures. Does they usually come unpainted, or? Uh, yes, they. You you buy them as a uh, similar to a model set uh, in parts, and you assemble them and paint them yourself. Okay. Yeah. And how long do you do you need? How, how much time for painting these pieces? I, I I think it depends. Yeah, obviously it depends. Like uh, like the the bigger miniatures, uh, they they are, they come obviously in different sizes. Like uh, you could sit longer on a vehicle than you would on a singular military unit. Yeah. Uh, if I really get myself to it and like batch paint them like on an assembly line, like you do for one color, then you go over to the next one to the next color. Uh, I can approximately do one in a, one hour, maybe. Okay, that's yeah. That's but like on on character units where you obviously do with finer brushes and like with more attention to detail, it can take like a few hours for a miniature. Okay, but I think that's that's a really good, a really good hobby. Because you need your 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 yeah, some <laughs> you have to go into yourself, breathe, and paint these tiny tiny things. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's 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 relaxing actually. Yeah. And for sure, you you do some some uh, you play with these uh, figures. Yeah. Um, what is th how many people are playing this at once? You know, at once. 
Um, that depends on the on the play style, what, what what game you play. Like you usually play one on one, but you can yeah. obviously like either do homebrew rules or bigger rule sets where you can have multiple players. Okay. Uh, which will obviously increment uh, like for each player it will take a longer time to sure. play obviously and yeah. what is what was the biggest game you you took part oh, the biggest game i took part in would have been in stuttgart um where i was playing 2500 points against 2500 points um i believe it was against uh space wolves okay and it took around <laughs> like six hours <laughs> oh yeah. my god did you build a playing field as well as a question from uh, yes i have uh, actually b scratch built a few uh, ruins and terrain for myself and uh, for my friends unfortunately i did not bring them here because they are quite big uh, but uh, you can have like you can have uh, a lot of cheap ways to do it if you want to like for example like old uh, chips cans mm -hmm. Like uh, you can spray them and use them as like big tanks of oil or something and spray them and c paint them, or you could uh, obviously buy the terrain that also comes from the uh, from the manufacturer. Or maybe the toy stable of your younger sister or something like that. Yes, or or your or your own 3D printer that can also is be great for like unlimited ways. Is there for, <coughs> for is there a possibility terrain? not maybe not to buy figures instead you're downloading some models and print them by your own and is there a fan base you, you most certainly could but that's not endorsed by the company uh, I, I understand okay okay that's that's a very important point i think yeah um nice oh i could talk uh, forever yes. about that because i'm i'm not so in uh warhammer 40k i think it's very interesting um, I streamed it a couple of times mm -hmm. on uh, the iPad, on the Xbox One, uh, Warhammer Mechanicus for sure. Uh, really like that game. Uh, I also played Warhammer 40k Space Marine mm -hmm. on the Xbox 360, yeah. which I also like, which is more like a, uh, what's the name, Gears of War type Yeah, that's, that's uh, more game. action oriented. Yeah. <clears throat> but this one, Warhammer Mechanicus um we have here today is on the nintendo switch yes. i think the only platform except pc that's missing but i think pc is every time we're playing on pc now we have uh all the console versions um yes i really like that game it got a lot of good reviews mm -hmm. um you played it, of course. Yes, I, I played it uh, at launch, actually. Yes, yeah. great. Uh, on which platform? On PC. On PC, yes. Uh, did you try it on a mobile device? I have not yet. I didn't have the opportunity to do so yet. You definitely have to. In my opinion, this okay. is uh, the best version um, okay. because you can just tap on your on your character mm -hmm. and you tap on that place he, he he should she yeah. should go or you tap the weapon and tap the target and yeah. this is very intuitive oh, that's, <clears throat> a, that's a good question actually what the last one uh did you bring a minifigure to your job interview <laughs> <laughs> no I, I i secretly snuck it in no um no i i applied uh to uh, uh, an, on the website, uh, there was like a opportunity for an internship written out, and I applied on the reg like with my work I have done uh, previously unrelated to Warhammer, and I okay. um, simply like stumbled uh, like I, st I I came in here and then stumbled over the enjoyment of Warhammer amongst uh, my colleagues. Actually, yes, yeah. is that so? Yes, I didn't know that you guys liked Warhammer before joining. <laughs> you, you you playing stuff with uh, you playing Warhammer? Yes, with with the guys here. Yes, I am. I'm playing with a few colleagues like during the breaks, but I didn't know that they were playing previously. Ah. Like I I joined uh, entirely Ooh. based on the on the company and not on, on of my hobby because uh, yeah. Calypso is obviously not. Warhammer, <clears throat> right? Yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, like, apart from mechanicals, like you, you guys are not a Games Workshop, obviously. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Now I, I saw a couple of my colleagues playing a Magic, that, that card game, 
Uh, is that something for you, or are you? Out I of haven't had the opportunity to play it because okay. none of my friends or play it, and I didn't yeah. have any like touching points. I know what it is, but I am not a player myself. Calypso board game night stream <laughs> when? That sounds like a, a really good idea, I think. Um, but unfortunately, um, yeah. as Liam told you, we are not uh, a workshop uh, dedicated <laughs> a company here. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it sounds really good. Um, usually, I spend my uh, my break not with playing any games. I have something to eat, like normal people do, but not <laughs> playing nerdy games. <laughs> no, that's pretty yeah. cool. <clears throat> and yes, we have um, a recreation room here, and uh, this is pretty cool. We have two. Large TVs in there, yeah. uh, nice table, yeah. couches, pretty nice in here with fresh water. And I need, I definitely need water um, yeah, that's, that's because it's, it's so idea. hot. It is very times. warm, yes. Yeah, and, and it's pretty cool that our that we have uh, air condition. Yeah, <clears throat> not in here right now because of the noise, but. But in our offices. Okay, um, I think now we're gonna start a little bit. Um, switch over yeah. here. I think that should work. <clears throat> the point is, the last times I streamed that game, I already had a safe game mm -hmm. where I did my my own updates, experience, and all that stuff. But you never know when you play that such a game the first time. Mm. It, was that the right decision mm. or not? Because if, if I would play a Star Wars game, mm. it's more. I know what a what a blaster is, mm. what an eighty eighty is, and stuff. I know how to to equip that yeah. stuff. But um, I was totally new, a foreigner in that mm. uh, universe. Yeah. So maybe uh, we can start. But first of all, yeah. um, before we start, I think. If you buy that game on the Nintendo Switch, you will also have... So, so we have this uh, Heretic um, DLC mm -hmm. coming with it, and the soundtrack, and the art book. Oh, this, yes, let's look at the art book. Yes, let's look at the art book. It's the same thing as with um, Food and Water. Patrick is full of surprises. Yes, this company is, is full of surprises. Yeah, yeah. we have... We have fruits in the kitchen. It's mm. awesome. Almost forgot to work today. <laughs> um, yes, you have the art book and the style of Warhammer 40k. It's that's really it's, it's, it's very aesthetically pleasing. It's really dark. Yes. It's not something. It's, when you come back to to Star Wars, mm. I believe oh, it would be cool living there in mm -hmm. that universe mm -hmm. but with Warhammer I'm not pretty pretty sure <laughs> no mo most people wouldn't I assume <laughs> which is a totally understandable definitely uh, like thing and I, I streamed uh, with Christian Woolford who is the production manager of Casido Games mm -hmm. uh, that are behind that uh, one here and he is also uh, in, in deeply into that lore and we talked a little bit and we, we talked about yeah. uh, augmentation mm -hmm. or body modification in, in that way mm -hmm. and what we would do. Um, do you have a body modification that would you would definitely add in real life and in that universe? Well, well technically, I, I already have a body modification by wearing glasses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> But uh, I would uh, presumably, uh, if if we had the technology, uh, I would obviously go for for things that would. Uh, I wouldn't like alter myself per se. I would most like fix like the small, broken, annoying things. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, like I have I have a few few quirks with my skeleton that I would like to uh, okay, I fix. Okay, understand. And, yeah, <laughs> I understand. Yes, definitely. I think I think an an eye modification where you can zoom or something like that would yes. be it, that would be cool. But in honest, I would be scared for my eyes. 
like because you 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 look around like you you uh you mostly like uh see the world obviously through your eyes and like I don't know if I would want to risk using that. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you mean? Oh, this guy is that one. The yes. guy on your shirt. This is a Skitari, like oh, the one on my second. shirt. We can yeah. we can show that. Yeah. Yes, this is a Skitari. Awesome. Okay. Man, that nice artwork. I would love to to have that as a as a, a printed one. Yes. Yeah, I, I have the digital art book myself, but I don't have a printed version. Okay. I don't think there is one. No, I don't think. But I, uh, yeah, it would be very cool to have it as a printed yeah. like book too. Definitely. To flip through. Definitely. Also, here you have uh, mm. the figure style. Cool. Yes, uh, a lot of more here um close that one uh that comes here with the game what is it with the settings oh it's only volume and i think let's start you like or, or I, shall i i don't i don't mind i don't mind either way um okay uh, select difficulty uh I, I played it the last times i always played it in, in normal mm -hmm. mode it was pretty hard challenge <laughs> challenging uh, but I think normal was a good, yeah, a good thing. Okay, normal. Um, skip tutorial. Enable Iron Man. This is something. Uh, Iron Man just means that you can't like reload saves. Okay, then no. Uh, new game. Okay. Uh, well, it would be great if a child screams on the train or something like that on the train. Uh, I think that's referring to the previous comment. So I always had the idea, ah, that it would be great to switch off music, but then I learned that silence drives you insane, so I'm not sure about that. Yeah, but, but if you can switch it mm -hmm. on and off, Huh. It's very hard to imagine because there is, I think, no place. And permadeath sounds not like fun. No. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to, to imagine something like that. There are some great movies out there or, or other games with. Uh, I mean, there, there are sensory deprivation tanks you can, like, rent. Yeah. Yeah, you could try it out. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, but uh, all the time? Mm, must be not a good idea, presumably. <laughs> Um, okay, I think the first thing to go is to the cord. We have 300 blackstone. Blackstone. And we have one of these uh, minions here. Servitor level 1. Mm -hmm. uh, let's customize. I have to check out the buttons because I'm playing multiple platforms and they have different layouts. You know, the Xbox, yeah. where the A. Where the B is here on the switch, yeah. it's, it's it's pretty difficult. So I what shall we give him? Can you remember what is a good thing, Mr. Manarius here? Um, that's a good question. Um, take take your time. I would say we should first upgrade him, like in a dis discipline, because right now we can only take like one augment, which yeah. is rather lacking. That's right. Yes. Uh, I personally uh, do very much like Xenorite, uh, especially in the beginning, but okay. uh, because they kind of a regeneration. Oh. But we could also take uh, the Tech Auxilium because that allows us to fire bigger weapons. Sounds good. I was at the beginning. I think these two engines here and Dominus were my preferred ones. Mm -hmm. um, so shall we uh, upgrade this one to tech and the other one generate? We could totally do that, yes. Okay. I mean, you can you can mix and match between the disciplines as you want. So. Okay. So confirm that. So your next weapon attacks condition cost is reduced by two condition points. Okay. Confirm. And now. Now we take the biggest weapon we can wield. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was the best decision to, to bring you in here. Okay, what is the... The Arc Scourge. This one? Yes, yeah, it's... Arc Scourge. Ah, yes. It's very close range. It's uh, similar to a shotgun, but imagine a shotgun that shoots lightning. Oh! oh. <laughs> like. <laughs> so is there any other thing? No, we cannot take... We could take an axe. An axe, like yeah. We have one augment slot left, so we could like, take... Yeah, that's very important to attack them. Um, close range. Uh, okay. Uh, go to discipline. Previous next tech priest. And Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah. So, Convention freedom. Okay, next one. I think. That's still the UI from the last discipline. Ah, okay. Ah, so okay, let's go. This one. Confirm that. And for this one, what do you think? Um, obviously not the arc scourge. Yeah, right. Yeah, but. What uh, is that? We could take the Xenorite microstopper since he's here. Z run rank Xenorite anyway. Okay, and for sure the X. Yeah, the X is uh, no brain. That's a no brain. <laughs> <laughs> cool, 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 cool. We only have uh, 58 of Blackstone left. I think that's not enough to. No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Okay. Then. Uh, yeah. Clock, Andre, use. Ah, okay. We sure. possibly have like uh, two slots by one upgrade, and each one of those took one slot. There are stronger weapons in the end game that take more slots, but. For now, that's uh, all we can wield. <laughs> yeah, as we're definitely at the beginning, yeah. So, uh, now, here we can choose uh, the missions. Mm -hmm. uh, check that one out. It's easy, and I think we should uh, yeah. use uh, this. Uh, we should take this one, launch mission, and so oh, we definitely have to take them <laughs> with us. Take some poor meat shields with us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, deploy troop, unapply class. Okay. Uh, always have to check. No, I think that was back. That was back, okay. It's, it's always. It's so different. Yeah. Um, okay, again, again. With me, and now. Now that was right. True. Visitor Skibula, I asked you on this mission because of your experience with Serena. A little bit louder here, I think. For us. Hmm? For us, yeah. Um, I like their voices. Yes, they are very nice. It sounds really intimidating. No, like you can you can see when you when you play the game that the the devs obviously like were big fans of the universe and like paid attention mm -hmm. like to details like that. Nice. I also like how they all have different personalities. Like Scaviola is always talking in this pseudo code like. Yes, yeah. he's more machine. Uh, I, I've mentioned more uh, machine yeah. than than human. Yeah, actually, if I recall correctly, I think in the art book it says that she, that's a, it, it's a she actually. Oh, okay. I think Scaviola is in fact a woman. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I think for now um, we're leaving there. Maybe the people out there want to see a little bit more of the game. Yeah. But if you want to play this game, it's available on PC. On all the no, not all the Xbox, but the Xbox One consoles, and uh, PlayStation Four, um, Nintendo Switch, and this is the version we're doing right here. And I cannot see major differences in in quality. Uh, for sure, the PC version looks pretty pretty good, but the Nintendo Switch version is also a pretty good looking game. Yeah. So now we are in that tabletop world, like. Uh, well, um, 
that's that's an interesting thing I found out later on. Like this abstract view we are viewing right now is actually like the the table in the hot, like where we mm -hmm. were earlier, the mm -hmm. one in the middle. That's actually what we're looking at right now. Yes, right. Yeah, yeah that's the hut. Yeah. Yes, and uh, this is the tomb we are currently exploring. Uh, so okay, uh, now we are here, um, and we can select other rooms with the L and R buttons. So, what does that mean with that glyph? Uh, the glyphs uh, usually mean that there is an hidden a hidden event. Uh, they are like if you if you go to it and read it, it will say like there are different like buttons to press like. The expedition stumbles upon, mm -hmm. and you don't know what they do. Whereas the the exclamation marks, they are events where you can choose what to do. Okay. Oh, let's let's choose that one. We have to head to this uh, crystal-like thing. Yes. Okay. Move. Glyph. Press the X. <gasps> A single port designed for a Necron Canoptic creature extrudes from the device. Okay, now we have to choose between one of these strange yeah. glyphs we have discovered. Yeah, our tech priest has stumbled upon a very strange uh, electrical device and they have two buttons and don't know what to press. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm definitely the wrong person to choose because if there is a 50% chance I all, not usually I always pick the wrong one but I like this one hmm? I choose this <gasps> yes so good so so good that's so so good okay um got some black stone which yes. is awesome Okay, where are we? We're here, so let's continue to um, the next room. Bosses, autonomous repair, defense, maintenance, capabilities. Okay, the chamber ahead has suffered damage from the shifting of the landscape above. Several dozen tiny beetle-shaped constructs are scurrying about industriously as they repair the damage. <sighs> no, another decision. Ignore, acquire, acquire plus. I think those acquire choices, uh, Skywala would like that. Yes, yeah, Kavila would like it a lot since uh, she is very much into uh, alien technology, whereas uh, other tech priests might not like that very much. Yeah, a lot of them are just run through, kill them all. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, not necessarily. They they just don't like alien technology. Yes, and uh, there's a pretty strong racist, I believe. <laughs> well, yes, obviously. <laughs> um, is is there? In that universe, is there a, a god they're uh, looking at, or is that yes. just the emperor? emperor or? Ooh, that's a, that's a very tricky question. Um, yes, there are uh, different gods for the humans, official mm -hmm. ones, uh, since the emperor is for the Imperium at large, but the Mechanicus isn't actually part of the Imperium per se. Ah, okay. They actually back then uh, joined voluntarily, and they have uh, are more of a collaborative force uh, than subjects. And they were allowed to keep their own religion, and they, they believe in the machine spirit, oh, okay. the machine god. Amazing, Krom, god of iron. Bonnie, hello Patrick. So from last time, I used your life-changing lesson of microwave fries. I agree that they are life-changing in an amazing way. Yeah, that's it. This is the best thing. Did you ever try microwave fries, French fries? Uh, yes. Yes. You like that? I personally prefer putting them in the oven, actually. Okay. Okay, that's a point, but uh, I was so surprised that they are actually good. But yeah. I, I thought it's French fries and microwave, that, that doesn't fit for me, for my brain. And then put it in the microwave, bam, you have a meal. Nice that you tried it out. <laughs> cool. 
Um, I discovered there are uh, a lot of other uh, supermarkets that uh, have these french fries, but I believe there are not so many differences. Uh, okay, I, I would choose the middle, acquire. Collect a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Go intelligence, controlling these scarabs. Fascinating, deeply troubling. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Do you know, uh, is it Warhammer Plus? That platform? Uh, that's a new service they are starting yeah. right now. Um, I do not have it, uh, but I have read about uh, an announcement and stuff. It's, uh, as far as I can concern, it's uh, some sort of streaming service mm -hmm. where they have like their own animated features. That's right. But they will also have like uh, painting tutorials and uh, on the community stuff. Oh, okay. And and only knew that uh, there are a couple of uh, animated uh, movies or so and inside of that. Yeah, they they acquired a lot of uh, creators from YouTube to work from them. Because there there was never uh, a Warhammer movie. There was. Come on. There was in the early two thousands. It's called uh, Ultramarines. Ah, you kid me. Is it good? <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> so no uh, secret. The soundtrack is very good. <laughs> is, is it a, a live feature? No, show? it's it's an animated. An animated. Ah, oh, okay. Like, it, it's it's not it's not as bad as people make it out to be, but it's like not nothing groundbreaking. It's um, uh, uh, it has a very nice soundtrack, and but the story is like you won't get any like very. Uh, like it will not like throw you out of your seat for yeah, surprises. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah no. there, there are no big twists and stuff. No, I thought maybe so, uh, a live uh, action. Uh, movie. There, I, I I believe there was like some sort of live action thing they've done in the nineties, late eighties, something like that. Okay. Uh, which, if like, uh, don't quote me on this, but I believe it was called Inquisitor or something, mm. and they made like a pilot episode for that, okay. but. It's really hard to find information upon that, and like the only thing you can find are like fragments of like video footage and uh, stuff flying around. Are you in movie stuff? Do you know some some directors, or do you have some directors you like, or where you think, well, this could be the the right one to do a nice Warhammer 40k movie? Ooh, that's a, that's a very hard question to answer. Um, uh. uh I, I don't know, yeah, uh, because because Warhammer for the case is like a very big universe and it's like very uh, different to most other like stuff you would find. What do you guys out there think? Who is Patrick talking about movies again? Yeah, why not? Movies. Everyone loves movies, and we have a nice conversation here. It's not always about about gaming. <laughs> no, it's always about gaming. But uh, did you? watch Mr. Robot by any chance? Me or me? Uh, I watched that, yeah. Uh, but I haven't finished Mr. Robot yet. Did you watch Mr. Robot? I watched Love, Death and Robots, but I didn't oh, watch Oh, that's Mr. a good Robot. point. This is a uh, really good uh, series, but I haven't finished the, the second season. Did I finish? There were not so many episodes mm, than no. in the first one. It's rather short. You can like watch it in one day. Like, yeah, it it, but definitely. But they were pretty good. Yeah. Um... Yeah, for me, an, an, an director that can bring a Warhammer universe. I like the director that did Kong Skull Island. I uh, forgot his name. He's pretty young for directing such a, a huge movie. And he's, uh, at the moment, he's um, producing a Metal Gear Solid movie okay. uh, with uh, Oscar Isaac. And I think he's the right one because he can bring large scale stuff mm -hmm. to the screen mm -hmm. and it looks impressive mm -hmm. so I was really impressed when I saw a King Kong or all the other creatures it, it looked different with more <clears throat> than in, in other mm -hmm. other movies so maybe he could be um, mm -hmm. someone I don't know well, I started watching clips from Mr. Robot on YouTube and that helped me appreciate the show even more. I should watch it again, I think. Yes, it's, it's pretty good. I think it, it lost me a little bit uh, the end of the, the first season. Uh, we 
gained two cognition points, by the way. Yes. Um, but yesterday, just yesterday, when you you mentioned it, and yesterday I uh, uh, I checked out my my streaming stuff, and I said, "Wow, oh, I haven't finished Mr. Robot yet." Oh, Necron Awakening sounds. Yes, uh, we have the small counter in the corner, mm -hmm. which tells us uh, how much awakened the structure is in which we are currently in. Because uh, in the story, this pl whole planet is actually like a tomb world of those uh, aliens, and they are, cr they are in deep slumber, and we are awakening them by intruding on their soil. For sure, yeah. Continue watching it. Yes. It gets completely wide. Yes, I've heard that. At the moment, it's, yeah. it's still based. If I can say that, uh, the n yes, the Necrons—they they slept for thousands, sixty million years, million years. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, um, that's cool. That's mm. fine. I would do the same if I had reached everything I wanted to yeah. to reach. So maybe you will fall asleep for six million years after you painted your two hundred and fifty. Mini. Oh no. Well, uh, yeah. I, I don't know how much we want to go into the lore, but the the, the necrons they as deep as deep as you can yeah. dig. <laughs> yeah, the, the necrons are uh, an, an ancient species that had fought a big war against another ancient species, uh, which resulted. In the creation of basically all uh, the current factions over long or short, mm -hmm. um, go, going way back, and the the Necrons uh, that was called the War in Heaven, and the Necrons uh, won that war, but unfortunately they had lost their soul in the process, and uh, only like the higher ops have regained like the the consciousness and the soul, where all, like all of their people have been sold into basically machine slavery. Mm -hmm. As they have like transformed their bodies into machines and uh, lost their soul in the process, which was done fed on by uh, malevolent star beings. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. And they then went into hibernation because they they could not enjoy their victory, and a lot of them felt very guilty about it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, how can someone sleep that long without being woken up to go to the bathroom? You may be. They're doing like so, I mean, but we never are waking them up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but meanwhile, so maybe there is someone on the front of the necron. Oh, come on, ah, let's go to the bathroom, and then he stands there. Uh, ah, so because no one can tell us, no one has seen a necron waking up between in between there and. Nice. So maybe going to the to the fridge. Oh, is there? Did someone left their sandwich or so? No, I don't. Yeah, they're, they're just the just the old species yelling at all the kids in the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the chamber head is lined with glowing green cylinders, each pulsing with power. The air is thick and greasy, and arcs of static electricity leap from the cause extreme as they approach. This chamber is almost certainly extremely dangerous, but it is the only way forward. It reminds me a little bit of that feeling I had in, in um, that alien Prometheus mm -hmm. movie where you have to discover where they discovered all that strange stuff they cannot describe yes. what they what they see. Yeah they like they're, this is like very ancient technology like the people don't know anymore. Like I told you <laughs> Yeah, no, no one of our uh, servants has, servitors has been hurt. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, um, 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 um. Okay, next way. Move. Lusk, lol. Hello! Nice that you are a part of this stream. Oh, I'm I'm working on uh, a disciples liberation stream for uh, sure next month. Looking forward to that. But next month will be the time where we will have a small summer break. So maybe we will have a few VODs there, a few let's plays, but uh, no live stream in that time. Um, next week we will have 
a quite interesting live stream with a very seldom piece of gear here in the studio. Uh, and next week Vlad will be a part of the stream again. Mm. Um, okay, Glyph. Bam. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. Did you play uh, Disciples Liberation? Yes, I think. Yes, I have played it. Okay. Uh, I started it, I think, last week. Okay. But uh, I only made it to... So this is not a huge spoiler. At a certain point at the beginning, you can choose which area you want you want to mm. enter. Uh, I went for for Greyleaf. Okay. And at the moment, I'm um, there, just doing a little bit of a mm. of a grind and okay. discover um, how can I get some more um, allies and stuff. You know, I have I've tested the game quite extensively <laughs> like for now. Ah, uh, yeah. I I know. Yeah, I saw you playing that game. Yeah, when I came yeah. over. Uh, this time I choose. No, I will not choose. Yes, this one. Pick up. Yes, we gain back the two health points. Yes, awesome. Better. I think that's a bad. Don't try anything stupid. They have security. Yes, but we have guns. <laughs> <laughs> we have guns. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> so so sweaty. But maybe it's the mask. Uh, uh, my my augmentation. I this is, uh, okay, move. And now we come to the action. First battle. <sighs> I like those loading screens, by the way. Like Definitely. That. Yeah. Definitely. I like the battles um, as well. Uh, I found back my my love for uh, turn-based games um, here at uh, Calypso Media with oh, okay. uh, Immortal Realms. Oh. And before the last uh, turn-based game I played was Crystal Warriors on the Game Gear. Okay. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's way back. And it was in the time of the Game Gear. Xenos oh. form detected. Who is wrong? Uh, Ro, this is one of our fellow tech priests back on the Castellan. Okay. And here is our lady. You, you can imagine, like, they are all standing around, like, the, the hologram, and, like, yeah, they look sure. at stuff and, like, comment on it. Yeah. Cool. Yes, Gavola wants to study. Yeah. Uh, Scaviola is, is uh, one of a sub faction within the Mechanicus that wants to acquire Xenos technology. Which isn't um, well appreciated by most other people. <laughs> Good luck, Patrick and Liam. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. Kill all enemies. enemies. Oh. <laughs> so now I have to check. Out. Okay, we can um, we can leave this guy. But check the. Um, Controls here. We, we just started. <laughs> what? We just started the battle. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's okay. okay. I don't need a minion no, right you now. Don't need, uh, if they are hit, they give you cognition. Like, I that could have been okay, okay, I understand. So never. I used them in the in the first round. Okay. Uh, because. Sometimes I mean, they don't cost blackstone. They're supposed to be expendable. <laughs> okay. So this one, uh, is that, does this weapon uh, have... This is our heavy weapons guy. Oh. Uh, this, this weapon is very short range. This one is a short range Yes, weapon. it's Okay, short range. I usually had this, this blasters that mm. can shoot uh, mm. a longer range. Uh, maybe, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward um, to this style of playing, because I'm more that distance, mm. distance guy. And I must say that playing in, 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 in the distant fight, Saved me my butt in, okay. in one fight where we uh, I had to challenge a couple of these Necrons and their that super Necron mm -hmm. and uh, they, 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 they beat me up but I managed it just to cover 
and walk a different way, shoot at him, okay. going back. I think with a, with a short range weapon. Mm. It's okay. Um, what do you think? Uh, maybe hiding here at that point? I mean, we have cognition points. We can move outside of the, the normal movement range. I would That's go. Right. I would actually uh, go first to the scan and like ah. take the black stone from there. That's uh, those, those tunnels give us black stone. That's a good idea. And if we destroy them, we uh, reduce the awakening. Ah, okay. But you can hit them right now with your axe. Um, so wait a second. I have to figure out because it's so long ago. Uh, I okay Z R ah, okay now the X. Bam. Okay, and now we can still move. Um, so we can move maybe to this spot and then get oh. cognition points from somewhere. Could take uh, the server school to take a cognition point from somewhere. Okay. So what do you think this way? Um, this place or? I mean, they are quite a distance. This is a short range guy. I would like stand him somewhere in, in cover, like on the right hand side, and let him come first. So, so stay here. Uh, yes, like somewhere here. Okay. Uh, but should uh, take them uh, yep. cognition. Yeah, you can take the cognition. So is that can I reach that one? Yep. You can reach every cognition. Ah. Like the the, the server skulls just pause around and. Okay, now we can end that round. Yeah. I like this this turn. Uh, yes. Um. Okay. And uh, first of all, on what there is nothing else. Uh, what? I would go to this spot, mm -hmm. wait until they come, getting their mm -hmm. cognition point for sure. Oh, the soundtrack is so good. The soundtrack is very good. Oh, now I'm getting back with the controls. Awesome to see one of your interns yeah. in the stream. You're doing great, Liam. Keep it yeah, up. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Yes, I'm, I'm, uh, Liam was so so nice. I, I was asking some of the other guys if uh, they want to join me in the stream, and uh, Liam was there and said, uh, "Yes, I want to be in the stream, and uh, I like Warhammer stuff." But, okay. Cool. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I think the minions would have been useful. Sent them with a weapon to their death, and I hope they do some damage. Wait, did I just become the Soviet mustache man? <laughs> As I, I said, so you have the minions, and then sent them forward, but they will not make it in, in the in the first round towards them. And then they got killed, so maybe let them come next round, place them, and then can instantly yeah, go. But they, 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 if they get shot, they make one uh, cognition point for you, which is a very low accurate portrayal of them. You're such a bad guy. <laughs> Sacrificing. That's what the mechanicals would do. They're not nice people. <laughs> Sacrificing humans, or almost humans. Well, they, they were humans once. For cognition points. Come on. Like the the servitors are people that have been like lobotomized and uh, used as weapon platforms. So now, okay. Um, um, deploy. Yes. Okay. How many of them? Uh, I think one should suffice. Like we don't have a lot of enemies here. So. Maybe I should have placed him right here. Yeah, then he doesn't have to walk that far. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, but move unit. Bam. It's a battle. I would go to that spot. Can uh, no, I would, no, he can. I would can wait. Like, yes. Let the wait. Yes, because he can uh, hit me. And let, let him come first. So you have to be uh, really patient in uh, in this game. I mean, it's a turn-based game. You have all the time you want. <laughs> That's right. 
what, what's the idea? <laughs> yeah, what's the idea? We will do that. Maybe. Depends on the level of stupidness. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, right, right fast. Um, okay. Uh, so meanwhile, while Barney is riding his perfect plan, as you can see here, you can move around. It works so seamless, and it's on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Come on, this is this is awesome. You can also zoom in. Then you have this shallow depth of field effect. Which is pretty cool. Okay, next time when you have the minions, take them and all of the comrades you already have and charge the enemy all at once. One enemy at a time with all of your forces. Huh. I don't think that's a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> like, we, we do not, like... The Mechanicus does not think very highly of human life, but they don't waste it senselessly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's it was a plan. It was definitely a plan, something to consider. Uh, thanks. Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> but I like stupid plans. Oops. Well, with this game, it's not so... Oh, we cannot reach him. Oh, we can reach him. What? Oh, we can... Yeah, we can, we can hit him. This is a melee unit. Okay. And the, the fun part is, if they walk next to you, you can also get a hit of opportunity against them. Yeah, that's right. So, and now I can... Oh, you're right. Bam! Take this, my friend. Yeah, okay, that's it for him. Yeah, uh, auxiliary units can't use, like, yeah. uh, cognitive points. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> no, he was my brother. Or you could use a pincer maneuver and wait in defense. When an enemy comes, you attack and overwhelm them. And when they are killed, set the pincer back up. I mean, there are just two units, uh, and we have enough cognition, we can just, like, advance now, <laughs> if you want to. Yes, shall we? Yeah, sure. Like, where? Uh, yeah, just go ahead. This one? Yeah. Or? Okay. Like, we want to go close combat with this one, anyways. Yeah, that's right. And as far, as long as we have enough cognition, we can walk as far as we want. And there's a big cognition box on the right, we could go there. Not like this. Uh, we should like board it so we can get uh, three cognition points there. Uh, mm -hmm. Like this? Mm -hmm. This place? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we get all of the cognition. Awesome. And now we can use his ability. Uh, the one we took earlier. What, this one? No, the, the one over there. Like the right and the right, yeah. This one. Yeah. Ah. Because our gun usually takes like three points and now we only take one. Yes, 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 yes. I understand. I, I, I was uh, totally under your your steering. No, no. And, uh, no I forgot which which uh, stuff we have. Your next weapon attacks good because only where it is. Okay. Now I can walk one tile towards him. <laughs> like. So, yeah. also, also, so? That doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, now let's go. This. And now you can use your gun. The gun? Yes, because that's a close, uh, 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 uh melee gun. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and we can still hit him with the axe. And that should do it, actually. Hmm. Okay. And then let's just wait. Wait? Not flee? No, no, there's no chance you, to you flee. Would hit us, right? Yeah, definitely. As uh, with the opportunity, yes. Um, okay. Liam, if you get the urge to take the controller from Patrick because he's running <laughs> just it, I don't think that. <laughs> 
I think it will definitely have some negative. No, do you, you wanna you wanna take that? Uh, I can help you with the with the uh, controls, or maybe uh, or maybe you can see um, the controls in here. That would be better. Just asking you. Yeah, definitely right, Snowball. But I wanted to to feel Liam's style, you know. Okay, move A. Because my style is definitely different. Do you have a Nintendo Switch at home? No, I don't. Usually play on, on PC. Yes. Okay. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Germil, hello. Uh, ja, klar, her damit. Immer, immer her damit. Nur kann ich da nichts machen uh, hier. Also uh, Steam Forum ist da immer die beste uh, Geschichte. Aber gerne, vor allem bei Immortal Realms, das ist mein Ding. Oh, 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 someone appeared, yes. What are those? <gasps> and these cannot take. I hate them. They can heal and poison you. But they mostly die after one hit. <laughs> okay, but they can poison you. You can poison them as well. Them? Yeah, sure. Okay. Like our, our gun on the uh, Zinnerite one, that does acid damage over time. Oh, come on. Yeah. That's uh, something that was added with the Heretic DLC. Awesome. Space fish, I think, yes. Definitely. Oh. Space fish? <laughs> the scarabs. But I think they're more like beetles. But yeah. Yeah, scarabs, yes, for yeah. sure. But they're swimming. Yeah. You can make some salmon after the battle. <laughs> no worry. Salmon would be nice. Getting hungry. Stop writing about food. <laughs> okay. And since the machine spirit is charged, we can just like use it for free now. Because it charges after one hit, which is very nice. Okay. I like this gun very much. Uh, how do I deploy it? Select skill. Oh, stop. Okay. That is something with the connection. Oh. Just our monitor turned. Uh, oh no, it's okay. back again. Okay, no one just back. It's back again. So maybe it's the HDMI which mm. is not sticked. Right, it's okay. Um, Gamut. Wenn der Gegner eine Karte ausspielt, wird diese nur eine kurze Weile angezeigt. Zu schnell für mich zum Lesen kann man das. Ähm, Gammelt, Gammelt bin ich vollkommen 100% deiner Meinung. Äh, ich habe ja ein paar Let's Plays gemacht und bin ja auch im letzten Akt äh, von dem Spiel. Äh, bin ich vollkommen deiner Meinung. Aber wie gesagt, das habe ich jetzt gehört. Äh, da verpufft äh, sowas leider. Ich höre es mir gerne an und äh, finde es auch super, darüber zu reden. Ähm, aber so, so, so Steam-Foren, ähm, die, die, die passende Seite, das, das ist, glaube ich, der beste Platz und das wird auch tatsächlich gelesen. Aber ich würde mal vage sagen, das wird... Ich weiß es nicht, ob das noch umgesetzt wird. Uh, okay, Snowfort. I love how Patrick has creeping fear of every enemy in this game and Liam is like, yeah, just kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of playtime in this game. I, I kind of know how it works. <laughs> yes, this is, a, this is the difference. Yeah. And was, I was a little bit driven by the atmosphere. Yeah, the atmosphere is very great. I, I like it a lot. Uh, and this intimidates. El Presidente mask. No, it's uh, my ah, going to run thing. my steampunk dedicated mask, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I, I I usually play it like a bit more aggressively because just like hiding is takes a lot of time. That's right. That's right. And like we can take a, a punch or two, like. Like right now, like we, as long as we don't like uh, overdo ourselves, so we can totally finish that. Yeah, it's definitely not a not a problem if we if we fail or so. Um, yeah. 
we're here to show how much fun you can have with it's our games. Uh, El Steampunk Idente. El Steampunk Idente. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, the, the hat is. Yeah, you can yeah, okay. continue. <laughs> it was just um, for me. Yeah. No, I, I'm just uh, deploying all of the units uh, close range unit in a more close range manner. <laughs> <laughs> so I have everything right here. Marvelous. <laughs> Maybe we can can bring uh, Warhammer 40k Mechanicus together in a, in a tropical DLC, maybe. Oh. <laughs> what about that? This is Steam Punky Dente and Steam Punky Dente. No, um, <laughs> I, I don't know uh, what to say to that <laughs> proposition. <laughs> like they, they are thematically like very different. Um, yes. No. Um, yes. But what I'm doing right now, uh, just that, that because I'm playing a lot faster than you are. Uh, Definitely. Yes. I'm sorry about that. Um, I, I deployed all of the the close range units to have like more of a shield, and I'm <coughs> more or less like flanking them right now yeah. with the more long range units. Um, and uh, if they move, um, mm -hmm. we can we'll put this one back into cover, so it can't be shot from the front. Yes. And if they like survive our shots, we still get the attacks of opportunity with our close range units on them, and they can also serve as a buffer between them and our more valuable units. Yeah, I see. Like, uh, cameras a bit. This actually looks like the perfect character for a mechanical twin takes over Tropico. <laughs> Mission 46. Definitely. <coughs> I just want to decide to not clutter the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Steampunk is something that works like very well in the mechanical setting. Anyways, yeah. So. I was the... searching for something. Yeah. I mean, they have a lot of Steampunk influences anyway. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you, if you take a look at the unit, of the, the unit portraits in the top, like the tech priests, they have a lot of like, steam clock influences. Yeah, especially all the, the, this 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 main deck where you are. Um, oh, yes, definitely. A lot of uh, steampunk elements in there. Okay, but get up there. And it was not expensive. I just said, uh, well, maybe that yeah. that fits for the streams, and I used it for my private stream mm. as well, one time. Where I played uh, one of the Bioshock games. Mm. <laughs> but Bioshock is more Art Deco, I would say, than Steampunk. Okay. <laughs> it depends on which one. Yes, you're that's, yeah, that's my personal opinion. Yes, you're definitely right. <laughs> yes, but I mean, I I have to I have to study like different styles of like art and and, and, uh, and stuff for my. Yeah. Uh, stu uh, so what, what, anyway. what did you study? Or uh, what, what are you I studying? am I'm a design student, and I have the specialization in game design, actually. Awesome. Yes. Uh, which is why I'm doing an internship here. Uh, because of my um, mandatory internship semester. And uh, this was a great opportunity to actually like, see how like everything works, especially like behind the scenes, because until now I'm mostly like involved with the development of the game itself and now I can like see how like everything works at the publisher, how the distribution mm -hmm. works, how um, uh, like the, the systems like in the background yeah. work. Yeah. Whereas uh, which is like very different uh, from how you like no. approach like a game in the, in the making, so to say. But we also have the opportunity with some yeah. some in-house uh, game developers like uh, Renforge or uh, yeah, Gaming Minds, so maybe you have the chance yeah. to... Yeah, until now I did unfortunately not have the chance to have like a lot of interaction with them. Oh, okay. Um, Patrick, uh, uh, Patrick, ever think there might be a sudden strike stream, uh, Barney, that... Yes, I'm usually doing a content plan, but first I have to talk to our PR department because sometimes there are um, 
some events or releases or something like that and <clears throat> next week should be on our our German stream but next week is no German stream because of something that will be announced tomorrow um, but this is not an answer to your question I <laughs> know uh, um, yeah, sometimes I have to to fill yeah to, to find a game because I can do whatever I want and yes sudden strike is something to consider um, I'll check that out but not in the next weeks um, but next week something special with a special device which is very seldom and I will close the studio door no one no one can come and rip it off my hands uh, Bioshock has a lot of steampunk influences though yours yeah especially Bioshock Infinite yeah especially that I, I was thinking of the first one like okay the, yeah and I, I uh, played Infinite with that. Yeah, last Infinite game. has a lot of like steampunk, obviously. Yeah. There's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of mechanical machines. Yes. Good job, Liam. <laughs> Thank you. Tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow is an announcement. And there will be if you have subscribed to Calypso Live, our YouTube channel. Uh, we have two YouTube channels, Calypso Media and Calypso Live. And on Calypso Live, I will do some content as well as news videos. And tomorrow, there will be a news video by the evening, and we have a press release. And if you don't want to search around for Calypso stuff, then uh, maybe subscribe to that channel, activate the notification bell, and then you will get our news as soon as possible, and not mm. trying to, to search around. Yeah, yeah. I saw that video schedule. No, Bonnie, this is not that video. Um, the news video for tomorrow isn't produced yet. I will produce it to tomorrow morning, edit it, and send it out. Uh, the uh, video which is scheduled is uh, uh, our usual Friday evening uh, VOD, which is Space Space Statopia. It will be on, on, on Friday. And I finished it today and uploaded it and set it as a as a, a, a premiere. Yes. Okay, upon destruction, the Necron constructs vanish, leaving no samples to be collected. Yeah. So we could just move, like they, they teleport out um, this technology that Necrons have. Mm -hmm. and, and they will be repaired uh, okay. later on. So like basically you could be fighting like the same Necrons over and over and you wouldn't notice because they are always repaired. <sighs> Yeah, and we could either like walk through, or we could uh, take a picture um, of the of the damage taken to maybe like run from it, or we could like very carefully analyze everything uh, as it says here, um, which will have different effects upon our crew because they like certain actions more than others. That's right. Yeah. Analyze is more for Scavi Scaviola. Yeah, analyze would be something Scaviola would like very much. Mm -hmm. Whereas abandoning it would be uh, way more um, with the more puritanical, yeah, puritanical individuals. So, what should we do? Analyze. We will analyze. Ooh, we got an upgrade. Nice. Yeah. You need a button you can press so you clips a live advertisement paper moves in the frame. Yes. Uh, I could do that, but I think it's more personal, like so. Maybe just build a model train on the desk with a billboard on it, so you can drive it in the frame then needed. Uh, yes, uh, but I have to wait until uh, my studio desk is finished. We will get a nice studio desk there and um, yeah let's see when it's gonna be finished mission complete nice yes. congratulations I would say yes, we have won the mission and uh, our troops are frustrated that they couldn't take any spoils of war <laughs> oh okay because uh, yeah because they teleport out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like the target show um, better. 
später in der Tagesschau. Was Scaviola ist positiv. Scaviola ist positiv. For sure. Gut, ja. So I had my design ideas for that uh, table and uh, then I went to the... I forgot the name. Schreiner? The uh, carpenter. The carpenter, right, yeah. I went to the carpenter, had a really nice, me a really nice meeting with them and... Uh, we talked about the situation because as you can see we only have two a small door so yeah. it must be modular it uh, must fit through the door yes <laughs> that's right and so you cannot have you, you cannot realize every wish you have in your mind uh, yeah. because sometimes yeah okay we cannot bring it into the studio but that was really good really nice people out there a fabulous table yes I think so They had some really nice ideas, I had some really nice ideas, and it fit perfectly together, I think. Yeah, so we, we got a few uh, units of Blackstone for destroying enemies and the mission reward. And as you can see, because we have, wound, have wounds, uh, we have to spend some resources to repair okay. our, our troops. Again, uh, we don't have to repair the servitors because they are free. And they are abundant, uh, but like other high-tech units will also require maintenance. But to heal him, uh, it's automatically. It's so automatically. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, confirm. But yes, we will have the opportunity to heal them later on, like by our abilities, I assume. Um, ich habe keine Ahnung, ob dieser Übersetzer funktioniert, aber wenn doch, atmen Sie jetzt manuell. No, I have automized my breathing. It can't be disrupted. Okay. <laughs> In my town there is a carpenter shop with a sign that says Carpenter Repair Service. I find the idea of someone bringing an injured carpenter <laughs> there for repair <laughs> way more funny than it should. <laughs> carpenter Repair Service. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I think this is this is very handy because you need carpenters and if your yes. carpenter is injured because it's a very dangerous job mm. and then uh, you need a carpenter repair service that can help you out and maybe you can give him give him some augmentation yeah. or stuff or modification where he can use some some tentacles stuff mechanical tentacles and, and but would we get warranty on that definitely mm. is there in Germany there is always a warranty on that. They don't even need hospitals anymore. Convenient. No, tech priests are their own hospitals. <laughs> ah, okay. No, actually, like uh, it's it's like very heavily detailed. Actually, like how it works. Uh, if you read the books, I have read a lot of them. Okay. Um, but like especially in the priests of Mars books, there's like a very high detail, like how their day-to-day -day life works and how their society works. That was a question yeah. I had to to um, to Christian Woolford the. Uh, production manager of Casido Games. If there is there a social life, do they have birthday parties and something like that? Well, that would very much depend on the individual because mm -hmm. they are like very individualistic mm -hmm. uh, to a certain extent, and like you have some that are more mechanical and they are mostly focused on their work and on their duties, and they they even um, reject uh, most regular like opportunities to like uh, mingle with others and they mm. will just like focus on their whatever they do yeah. and uh, they will reject like basically all of their human appearance to be more functional whereas you have others uh, which one of the main characters in the book is um, that are almost human and only have like the augmentations in the internal sides so that they are basically like humans just better mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like those individuals would certainly like uh, celebrate birthdays and stuff okay. whereas um Others uh, would just like th th put it aside as a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, that's the like uh, the the leader of like the in the book, there's an expedition, and the leader of the expedition actually like has cloned himself because he like didn't want to spend the time to have children the normal way. Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, I understand that. They are like very. Uh, determined yeah, yeah. like to make everything as efficient as possible or like I think a talk show a TV a classic TV talk show in that universe would be 
awesome. Having all these different characters in there, different stories. Hmm. Hmm. Well, yes, they, they would have a lot of things to tell, I would assume. <laughs> yeah. uh, now I want to play for Warhammer 40k, just to think of a scenario with an ambushed birthday party and a giant cake as cover. Why only think of the cake as cover? You could use it in multiple ways. <laughs> okay, we okay. can upgrade our units again. Mm -hmm. uh, we have gotten... Uh, leave the, plus this one. Yeah, I know that one, yeah. Plus physical damage, but I am more looking towards the cure issue, like a dendrite, because that heals. Oh, healing is good. Yeah. Who shall we upgrade first, Marcus, um, Jeremiah, or Manarius? I like Jeremiah. 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 He's my buddy. Zina, right? Okay. I think if you want to make him, if we want to make him more of a healer, we could like take one level in engines here mm -hmm. to cleanse negative effects. Okay. Uh, to like help allies in need. Yeah. And that should allow us to install the Mechadendrite, which is the, the word for like those, those tentacles they have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That they are called Mechadendrites. I think I will start that. Uh, I only play that game here for, for work, um, but I will definitely start that game on the Nintendo Switch in uh, my free time. Um, and then I will switch the Nintendo Switch to German mm. speech, <laughs> because sometimes there is. Like, what are you talking about? And well, then the, the whole sense is, is pretty <laughs> hard to understand. But a lot of the made-up words are, like, made up even in German, so... Uh, definitely, <laughs> but it's a, a little bit less yeah. uh, tough to, to understand. Yeah, obviously. And uh, Manarius, our hard-hitter, big gun person, could generate cognition points, or we could upgrade him further to give him more armor for his close-range... Uh, Armor would be, Armor would be uh, nice. yeah, the, the best choice for, yeah. for close range stuff. Okay. Yeah, we have the choice between. Uh, where is it? It's all fun yeah. and games in this game until someone rolls up in an armored fighting vehicle like a tank. Yeah, there are these these big guys, these big Necrons. Yes, they they are heavy weapons, yeah. uh, Necrons, and they are also heavy Necron heavy. Oh, sorry. I'm losing my ability to speak. Uh, heavy weapons uh, units of the Mechanicus as well. Like we can have the big robots later on that also have like a fl uh, heavy flamethrowers and stuff. Oh, flamethrowers. Yes. My daughter would like that. She recognizes a flamethrower. She's <laughs> very proud of that. I played. I don't know which game I played at home. And and I had options to take several weapons. I can't mm. remember what the game was. My daughter said, oh, Dad, take the flamethrower. I said, well, well, why do you know what a flamethrower <laughs> Yeah, this is a flamethrower. I said, okay, take it. So, we can augment the head, the arms, the legs, or the torso. The legs, the arms, the torso, please. Torso. Okay, the to augmenting the torso gives us four HP points and one physical armor. And also gives us a further augment point, which we can spend on support or more weapons. Or the oh no, we, we should want to install the, the augment itself. Yeah. So we have more health and more armor now. Oh, that's much better than I did. <laughs> also, yes. And there are different playstyles you could do anyway. So like, there's no right or wrong. Yeah, style to do it. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I felt pretty comfortable in that way I played it, yeah. and I made my progress. Um, but yes, I felt it's... There is something better, or more effective, faster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As, as long as you're happy with the place that you do, like... Yeah, for sure. You you have yeah. to... You, this, is, this is fun, this is yeah. your free time, and uh, this is not work. Not. But yes, now it's work, but <laughs> at home. When you, when you play the game at home, it's Yes. 
Okay, <laughs> take the next mission. So maybe yeah, we, we have we an, we another to, fight. Yeah, do we want to take one from Scaviola again, or do we want to take her adversary? Uh, yes, uh, maybe maybe him. It's gonna be more aggressive Videx. stuff, and uh, uh, not necessarily, but like he's a different uh, yeah. school of thought. Oh, okay, like um, he's more of the religious uh, scholar than Scaviola. I understand. I think we also got a new canticle uh, before. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. We can kind buff of... our next physical attack once uh, a mission. And we can also, what's the other one? Yes, we can also we heal five extra. Yeah. We, we, we forgot to do it. Uh, yeah. Last mission. Yeah, well, most of the time I had uh, two healing canticles with me. One was, uh, I think, five points, the other one, eight or ten points. Uh, I was okay, that's good. I believe the highest you can get is like 20 points or something. Oh, okay. I mean, the, the health health points do, like, scale up the more levels you invest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and this is like Vidix, like, he has fi 500,000 works of scripture stored for rapid <laughs> context retrieval. It's Presumably has a hard drive installed somewhere in his brain and just like has all the gospels and prayers there. Goodbye. That is something they would definitely do. Yeah, and Escaviola doesn't like it. She says that that's an unnecessary waste of power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, basically the he is more of the of the scholarly type and the, with their own religion uh, because they. Um, they do not invent stuff, actually. Okay. They only rediscover things, because in this setting, humanity used to be very, very advanced and very great, mm -hmm. and to cover the whole galaxy. Okay. And the, this golden age, however, ended, and all of the technology was lost, and the people regressed into different uh, ages, mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, with Earth going back to some sort of Mad Max style. Oh. Uh, whereas Mars was the storage of a lot of technology, and they retained a higher at rate of uh, of uh, technical prowess, and they also retained space flight, mm -hmm. and they started some expeditions to actually reclaim technology. Yeah, okay, and their fate, like basically, forces them to like go out into the stars and collect like ancient human technology, because everything old they would find would be way more advanced than anything they could invent on their own. Oh, okay. So they actually revere old stuff over uh, new technology. I understand, yeah. yeah. Well, it's pretty smart. Well, it's not. They do... Uh, they do uh, limit themselves by doing so because they... If they wanted to, they could invent new stuff and some of them do. Ah, uh, okay. But, uh, because that goes against doctrine, they don't like it. Ah, uh, okay. I I, th I thought it is the reason because some 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 resources are not there to to invent the same stuff they could do a couple of thousand years ago or so, and that was the max. And now they can recreate all that stuff, and then maybe you have to search it. Yeah, well, resources are scarce, but like if you are sufficient rank, you can have all the resources you want. Either anyway. So. Okay. 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 Well, they are not they are not a very uh, like kind empire mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. the humans are not necessarily the good guys in the settings they are very autocratic and yeah. they are very uh, corrupt as well I like that universe even if I'm not so not so into it but it's it has, it has a lot of like uh, uh, lore to learn yeah. about it like there are like a lot of books I believe I recall, like, uh, maybe like a year ago, there was a contest where you could win the entire book collection uh, with all of the books that have been written, uh, which was approximately 2,000 books or something. And it would have been delivered to you in three trucks. Oh, come on. <laughs> I unfortunately did not win. <laughs> <laughs> but you can scan it side by side and store it on your store it in your hard drive which you implant in your brain that nice <laughs> yes you can maybe read it in your hand but because you have a display a foldable display oh awesome no the Warhammer unique worst does not have good guys no. uh, regarding the question the one for you does not look like it is okay yeah, yeah. where would you put 2000 books this is the question we ask ourselves later. <laughs> <laughs> um, no chance. Hey, there is a chance, but uh, yeah. but a waste of space. 
And, and how do you read 2,000 books? That's that's the more important question, I would say. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is your garage. Yeah, there are uh, all your shelves. Under your bed. Everywhere Warhammer. So you would never get a girlfriend or something like that. She comes straight to your house and walks straight out of it. Warhammer. Opens the door and gets crushed by books falling out. <laughs> Maybe that, yeah. <laughs> but I think Warhammer 40k. Warhammer 40k. He has the Warhammer 40k sh uh, shower gel and and uh, Warhammer uh, 40k uh, here. Uh, the dress for for the night and the nightgown. Uh, yeah. Oh, the, the, the lamp, the, the the wallet. I have a special wallet. Do you? Yeah. Mm. Ah, I have that. It's a PlayStation wallet. Is it? It's a it's a PlayStation. Yeah. The first one. PlayStation this is, one. Yeah, this is my wallet. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Girls can, <laughs> yeah, you you nailed me onto the wall. So Patrick says girls can't like Warhammer 40k. Yes, girls can't like Warhammer. It's 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 a man thing. That's our last island. <laughs> uh, if you want to, you can like get into it. Obviously, like <laughs> <laughs> no. we don't we don't need to gate gatekeep like no, Warhammer it, for people. It, it was it was just that in our situation. So my wife, my wife. Hey, I've won 2,000 Warhammer 40k books. It's time to read them all. <laughs> so what's the task? What's the topic in there? Oh, it's some augmented beasts that want to to rip off <laughs> other species. No thanks. Divorce. Actually, like uh, a lot of like what I've heard um, from from uh, women that like 40k. Mm -hmm. Actually, like the the tyrannids are very very. Um, popular by them, as okay. far as I know, like, which are like a species entirely made of out of a hive mind that wants to eat everything. Okay. And they, are, they actually look quite similar to the aliens in Alien. Yes, I think it's so. so. I think um, girls or, or women, usually I think they are more talented in that uh, cosplay thing. I would say you, so. Would, like, you, would you agree now? I have seen a lot of like very talented like male cosplays as well. Definitely, yes, but those people that were presented to me where I never um, was at a cosplay show or something like that but yeah most of the time you you get the the, the women presented in that in that videos and it looks it looks awesome what they're doing uh, you open a container of X Warhammer 40k X yes Warhammer 40k X for no 999. And what's better than 40k X is a 40k X. You have to get your wood in in the forest. <laughs> ah, that is a cool wallet. Does it even fit in your pocket though? Yeah, so I have uh, I have some some cargo shorts here, and there's a lot of space for that. No. The wallet works fine. It's my second PlayStation hmm. One wallet. I once had one. And it's so cool, and I got one, another one as a present. Uh, you know, I couldn't let you get away with it. <laughs> yes, I knew that. It's so hard with uh, with Snuffert here in the in the chat. He, he take takes a look at everything, every piece. Tries to nail me as a as a bad guy. I think. Uh, you can't look at Patrick and say they're they are better in cosplay. Uh, okay, uh, let's continue. We want to fight. Oh, the time yes. flies. Yeah, we want to, want to fight some some Xenos. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, quite honest, and we have found uh, a Vox caster, which is a fa fancy way of saying it's a walkie-talkie. Um, <laughs> yes, and uh, there's a dead. Uh, no, 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 it's one of our servitors, and it just opens up, and uh, you're being try to be sent somewhere by that voice. Mm -hmm. what, what do we do? Uh, rip out. We could just rip it out of his face. Yeah. Please. Okay, we have... 
we have detonked our servitor. <laughs> okay, what's that? Uh, it's not great. We can look at that later. On. Cool. After the mission. No. Okay, we have to get up there. So let's head on. Yeah. Oh. Do you oh. recommend the the straight way towards the the goal or? Maybe just explore everything. Mm, that uh, very much depends uh, how your party is like made up. Um, if you have like a very powerful party, like with a lot of heavy hitting tech priests, you can obviously like explore and okay. like get, get the optional fights. But um, if you want to like limit awakening levels mm -hmm. uh, and go by like very unnoticed, because the longer you are in the tomb, yeah. the the higher the awakening is, the harder the fights will get for you. And so, like, being fast uh, is actually an advantage because you will have an easier time okay. in the fight. Okay, well, true. Uh, in this chamber, the sensor servitor crosses a part of the floor. Okay. Uh, manual labor, climb to the hole and haul the servitor out manually. And we could be nice and, uh, like, lift him out. We could get him out by a magnetic. <laughs> or okay. we, could, uh, we could put him out by a rope. Oh, we'll go for the magnetism. Oh, three. Oh, come on. That was especially our tech priest, like our tech priest right himself. Yes, it was not the minion. Mm -hmm. The servitor reaches the lip of the hole and is being dragged to rest at the way that With loud bang and belching of acrid black smoke, a key component burns out violently. The servitor is saved, but at a cost with structural integrity. But my choi choices work much better than last times. So. Well, I believe they are randomly generated. Yes, they they are, but yeah. um, it is always fifty percent chance than no chance for me. <laughs> Single pot design for them. Uh, which one do we take? Oh, this is the fifty. The other one this was the, uh, the, the thirty-three percent. Uh, yeah. uh, I. I'll Yes, take this one, please. Yeah, okay. Blackstone. Yes, you want to take as much blackstone as we can get. Definitely. Because the more we have, the stronger we are. This is no good, Seen as corruption takes physical form. Oh no. Ooh. Okay. So there's some weird smoke that is. Uh, yeah. So we could, could just try to pray it away. <laughs> we could walk right through it. <laughs> or we could it. try to burn it. <laughs> oh, I think that's not a smart idea. Yeah, we, yeah. we just pray it away, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pray for the for the Xenos to go away. Okay. Does this... And it actually reduced the initiative in combat for the enemies. Good. Does these gods really exist, or, or are those just like Ooh, uh, we believe in that? But is, is there any any story where you definitely can see? Yes, it definitely exists. Oh, that's uh, that's a very disputed topic in the in the lore, uh -huh. uh, because there are some gods that definitely do exist, um, but those are the chaos gods. Um, for example, like uh, in the in the intro to the game, when you start a new game, yeah. your uh, ship is originally in hyperspace and in the warp travel. Mm -hmm. uh, the warp is a parallel dimension, yeah. and we are ripped out from that. Okay. Uh, essentially, the warp is a parallel dimension which we use for fast travel, but which is also a place where all of the emotions are stored. Okay. And if a lot of emotions amalgamate, they can form uh, demons, ah. and there are like four major gods of chaos. Uh, which are like entities that can affect the real world. Okay. And there's a lot of discussion if the other human gods of the emperor and the machine god are actually like represented in the warp as well, because the the emperor has a presence in the warp. Uh, he's like a very shy, a light shining beacon, mm -hmm. which is actually used by the ships to navigate through the warp. Oh, okay. And that's why, like, when they are cut off from that light, they can't navigate space anymore. Ah, yeah. And uh, the machine god is um, rumored to have a body under Mars itself, mm -hmm. uh, which can also be the 
dependent on what interpretation you follow because like different writers allude to yeah, different okay. things and different people have different interpretations but it could be interpreted as actually an ancient Necron construct okay. that has been misinterpreted by the people on Mars as a god yeah. uh, which are, well, would be ironic because th those are the, yeah. the aliens we're fighting right now yeah right amazing power through uh, no we did the, uh, we, the prayed. we prayed Living on a prayer. One of those gods. And one of those gods of chaos is. <laughs> <laughs> the, the chaos gods are way worse than that. <laughs> I don't know his ex. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> and she has three sisters, or what? Okay, and. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of our servitors stops moving and starts uh, belching smoke. Uh, <clears throat> Time for tech support. <laughs> yeah, perform <laughs> uh, perform the ritual of replacement on this. Uh, Could try to uh, yeah, perform, perform the uh, right. Oh, right of refurbishment. But that's that, that would take time. Okay. So we can either try to be as fast as possible, or to be as like efficient as possible, or have a middle way. Efficient. Efficient. Please, great machine god. Please. Yeah, Vidix, uh, Vidix agrees. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing completion. Yes, but okay, they okay, also yeah. have one awakening. Yeah. yeah, okay. And up to battle we go. Whew. Oh, this one has 14 health points. One yes, because we augmented his torso. His torso, yes. Yeah. Oh. Actually, like health isn't that important. Uh, what is most important, uh, in my opinion, is actually the shields and the armor because they can like negate damage in the first way. Okay. Like why why heal like, why be forced to heal yourself when you can just like block the damage in the first place? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like what 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 is blocked doesn't have to be healed later on. Uh, how do I switch the next one here? Health is a resource. I mean, yes. And speaking of resources, we can scan this terminal here and get more blackstone. Because that is what we want. Um, I think we want some cognition. And I will actually be greedy and go and get the black snob there as well. <laughs> because that is uh, what we want. Oh, right, because we uh, upgrade this one to heal himself. Mm -hmm. We don't have to actively heal as much. So we get one health point per, per round. Per turn, yes. Yeah. At per the start per of every turn, we get one uh, health point. Yeah. By the augment. Can remember. You can actually couple that with another augment, which heals you at the uh, at the start, like at the end of your turn. So you can heal mm -hmm. at the start and at the end without <laughs> spending any cognition. I understand, yeah. yeah. In this platform I just moved on will take us up into the corner. Yep. I enjoy the music very much. It's Definitely. Yeah. It's like one of the one of the nice atmospheric aspects of the game. Um, I think you definitely definitely heard of that game Necromundus. Mm, the Necromunda game, the new one. That yes, that uh, Hired Gun? I guess I only know Necromundus. It's that uh, first person shooter. Yeah, that, that's that Hired Gun. Yeah. Did you try that out? I haven't yet. Yeah, okay. I have uh, way too many games in my backlog okay. <laughs> to play a new game yeah, right we now. We all have so many <laughs> games in our backlog. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I've heard good things about it. It's apparently like very similar to the new uh, to the new Doom games. Yes, uh, I saw a few uh, reviews. 
I uh, liked the look and uh, I was really surprised how small the team was that uh, yeah. produced it. Uh, Bash Toymon, I believe. Okay. Yeah, they have made uh, another game for 40k before and they made um, the uh, Deathwing game. Oh, I don't know. Deathwing, uh, I don't remember the full title, but it was the new Deathwing game. Okay. And before that, they made their own uh, game, which uh -huh. is called I Divine Cybermancy. Um, which is uh, interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's a, it has a very very niche uh, okay. audience because it's it's kind of janky. Um, but the, the creation story is actually quite interesting because all of basically the game is a very very heavily modified um, source engine mm -hmm. and. Basically, all the AI in the game is modified uh, Counter Strike bots, actually. Okay. And um, they they made this game. This is, is a cyberpunk game, uh -huh. and it has a very interesting cryptic story. And you can also uh, hack everything on the map. Like you can hack other people's uh, uh, bodies and stuff, but you can also be hacked. And uh, you can hack cash registries, but if you fail the firewall, that will hack your legs and you will just fall over. Oh, okay. it's, it's a very interesting game. It's hard to get into. I tried. Um, unfortunately, I could not get into it very much because it has head bobbing. Oh, okay. And I get motion sickness from that. Which... It sounds this this crew, or the, those are true artists. Yes, uh, they are quite, quite the bunch. But like the game had a lot of like very obviously 40k influences, which is mm -hmm. which is like very telling if you see like what they went to go make later on because later on they made actually 40k games. They had those influences like from the start. I basically never play games in my backlog. Yeah, this is what a backlog are yeah. made for, not to play these games. At the moment, I'm uh, getting a little bit rid of my backlog games, and it works pretty well. Last week I played Obduction because it was and still is free in the Epic Store. Really enjoyed that one, even though it has a couple of flaws. Obduction. Never heard of that. Neither have I. And I do not have an Epic account, I think. Oh, is uh, anyone, by the way, anyone interested? In the the Valve Steam Deck, huh? is that cool or not? I don't know. I haven't like looked into that very much. Okay. Uh, in all honesty. <laughs> there is a B perfectly aligned in the hole. Oh. Uh, like if you look at the at the screen, like oh, the, yes. the, the input from yes, the game. Yes, I see. It a little bit now, yeah, that's better. And oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> um, yeah, the Steam Deck is uh, practically a, a portable handheld PC gaming console, and uh, which has Steam OS on it, but you can also run Windows to play your Xbox, uh, your uh, Microsoft Game Pass games mm. on it. And it looks pretty powerful. There are three models out there, and I really like handheld gaming. But I'm not sure if I will get one because if there were some games, I some important games for me, I only could play exclusively on that thing, mm. then okay. But actually I can't play all these games at mm. home so it would be more comfortable yeah. for me in my family life mm. to to have a, a, a portable device mm. like i love my yeah. nintendo switch because i can just grab it and, and play wherever mm. i want and don't sure. um uh don't take the don't use the tv or stuff but right now i will uh use one of our tentacles Actually, and yeah. heal our unit because he has taken some damage. Oh, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. Only has three health points yeah. left. <laughs> oh, it's a point. Uh, this this abduction. It's a point and click, but you can run around yourself. I love the universe. Story was decent as well. The end didn't use all its potential. Sadly, I played a game that 
sounds sim <laughs> similar. Uh, it's a point and click, but you, you can run. It was uh, State of Mind okay. by Dedalic. Mm. Uh, I played that one on the uh, Nintendo Switch, and you can get it for any any platform. It's okay. And I really, I, I really loved the the story. Okay. It was a uh, yes, it was a, f a few. It, it has the graphics were a little bit like it's a low res. Um, uh, what was the name? It looked like the first Virtual Fighter games. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. it's um, only the Arcomone. It's on my tongue. Um, but the story was so good. Really like that state of mind. Oh, interesting. It's not the, the, the best game in the world, but mm -hmm. it caught me. And right now, I am destroying the the enemies because otherwise they will just stand back up in mm -hmm. three turns, and we don't want that. Definitely not. Okay. Yeah, that's the to to move up. Take the, the brunt of the enemy assault. I once had one of these minions. Mm -hmm. which was like a like a tech uh, katana <laughs> guy. Yeah, but that's a skatari. That's not the servitor. Okay. Those are actually like uh, the soldiers of the mechanicus. They were pretty quick and uh, very strong. Yes, yes. The the, the skatari are, are very like very good. Um, I personally prefer the rangers, mm -hmm. but uh, they are a very like useful assault. Because and they are like the actual like in in universe they are the the soldiers for the mechanicals because the tech priests themselves don't necessarily go to war yeah they are like the the people in the background that have like all the stuff running and uh, keep track of all the machines I understand and worship the machines I mean like the, the this the thing. Um, which is like showing up all the time. Uh, you can overload your weapons to like trigger the machine spirit. In universe, that is um, the belief of the not necessarily its belief. It's like sometimes it like occurs as well. Because the mechanicus believes that every te piece of technology has like some sort of soul by itself, mm -hmm. and this is called the, the individual machine spirit. So each weapon has its own machine spirit. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, and. Uh, if it gets in, in this game, if it gets used, the uh, spirit will get angry and like do more damage because it gets angry at the enemies. Okay. Um, and like, uh, if if something like breaks, in they the first thing they will do is try to appease the machine spirit of uh -huh. the of the piece of technology in question. And at some points, like machine spirits also have uh, feedback, like in the on the actual functionality, because. Like big machines, like Titans and stuff, mm -hmm. have a very strong machine spirit that can actually like rebel against you if you don't treat it well. Okay. And it will just like stop working out of spite. Great. Yeah. It's like it's like very very interesting. Oh, awesome. And uh, yeah, that's. Machine spirits can also like some are assumed like uh, are alluded to being AIs, mm -hmm. uh, which, if so, would be like very troublesome because AIs are actually outlawed. Mm -hmm. That's because we use robotized people right now instead of like proper robots uh, to do the dirty work, mm -hmm. uh, because AIs are forbidden. Oh, I understand. Because um, back when like everything was uh, like very high tech and very good for the people, mm -hmm. for the humanity. Uh, they actually had an AI rebellion, which led to the loss of the technology, and that's why AI was outlawed in the setting. That's why they can't use uh, thinking machines. That's maybe what we will need in a couple of years. Now, if we do it properly, like we do, we hopefully won't have to. <laughs> Heal him actually. Like, we unfortunately we can't like get to him yet because he's out of range. We don't have the cognition to run a lot, mm -hmm. which is why I'm just sending the servitors to, to walk up to him slowly, menacingly walking up to him. Uh, and I will try to destroy that terminal to 
get more time in this ruin and to reduce awakening. The shield. So we do need shield. Yeah, but it's only one enemy left, so we don't have to. Like, if we destroy him, the mission is finished, we don't have to kill him, so it's not. Not that important yet, how fast they revive. Oh, okay. But uh, the, the ones that we killed previously, they would have revived by now. Mm -hmm. That's why we took care of them earlier. Yeah. Welcome back. Okay. So we walk up to him, hit him, and if he survives that, we will skip our turns with the attack priests. Which is no longer necessary because we won. <laughs> and wait what he and wait what he would have done. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we can do a little bit of an upgrade and then we are um, at the end yeah, sure. of uh, today's stream. It's time passed by, so yeah, sure. But it was a lot of fun, definitely. Cool. <laughs> definitely don't forget to uh, check out uh, tomorrow's news video and it would be awesome if you guys would leave a like, maybe a comment, that would... Uh, yes, I, I would appreciate that, definitely. Yeah, definitely. The same same on Friday, there's a VOD with Space Based Utopia. It is the mission uh, market economy I played mm. there, and um, yeah, next week we will have um, no German stream. Usually, the last Wednesday of a mm -hmm. month is our German stream. Not next week because of that news and announcement of tomorrow. But it definitely makes sense. So we got. A new canticle, but we can also take a look at the at the thing we got the mission mm -hmm. during the mission. Yeah. Um, oh no, I don't have to paint them right now. <laughs> no. We could paint them, but it's it's also very fun to give me your own color scheme. But yes, a spotlight. Okay. Become oh, become the priority target of the enemies and gain one armor and one energy armor. So you basically, like, take on the the damage for your friends. Yeah. Which we could do, like, with the one of our tanky boys. I would do that later on if we yeah, have more, maybe four or five guys or so. Yeah, like right now it's like not really necessary and yeah. you don't have the shields yeah. yet to fully utilize them. Okay, so uh, Jeremiah doesn't have any augments yet, I think we should fix that. Some more HP. Um, the, the news video will be on Calypso Live, always. Calypso, the other. The other channel, um, the Calypso Media channel, is more for our uh, trailers, and uh, Calypso Live. We uh, we brought this channel to life to create a little bit more entertaining content and news content, a little bit as a service, and um, yeah, we will have a lot of more, not only let's plays and stuff. Um, I will try to create a little bit more behind the scenes stuff that you can see which guys are behind this uh, this logo of Calypso Media. Yeah, I think um, we can stop that yes. right here. Liam, thank thanks for your time. That was yeah, that was really me. good. Cool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that time here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed having uh, Liam here with me. Uh, I think it's, it's very interesting. He knows the lore, he can play the game, he can tell you a lot of that stuff. He's doing an internship and, and showing you that this whole uh, games industry is not voodoo where you can, oh, I, will, oh, I want to, but um, uh, I cannot. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, possible. Um, what, what is the German term for my cat is wearing a necktie? Uh, Meine Katze trägt eine Krawatte. Yeah. Meine Katze trägt eine Krawatte. 
Uh, thank you, Liam, for joining, Patrick. Yeah. Yes. So maybe we will find another uh, slot, and you are allowed to to, to join be, you to to join this uh, mm -hmm. stream, being a part of it. Maybe in a disciple stream, for maybe. for example. Yeah. You. And I have played disciples as well. So. Yeah, that that yeah. would be awesome. Okay. Um, he knows his Warhammer 40k. <laughs> Ted's fire was taken on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Liam did really good today. He did it awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Uh okay, nice. It was um it was a really good stream. It was a lot of fun. Yes. I laughed a lot. Learned a lot. And um hope you you guys yeah. as well um at home. Don't forget tomorrow the news at Calypso Live, the YouTube channel, and uh Friday the VOD on Calypso Live and next week uh, there will be no German stream, but it will be a special stream with a special item, which I will keep like my third eyeball. <laughs> okay, until next time. Good night, goodbye. Yeah.